It's been 85 days since the checker flag flew in Abu Dhabi to conclude the 2018 season. Now, after a long winter, we are back. New cars, new drivers and even new teams. It's a completely different feel, but the sport still feels exactly the same. Welcome to 2019. Welcome to pre-season testing. The teams have made their way from the United Kingdom. Some of them have come from Italy as we are here in Spain. The Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. There's a total of eight days testing in Formula One. And the first four are this week. The last four next week. I'm delighted to say that we will be trackside in Barcelona bringing you live coverage of that test. We're all really looking forward to bringing you pre-season testing live next week from the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. It is going to be absolutely fantastic being trackside and for something a little bit different for me as well uh, to actually be able to interview some of the drivers that we see out there. But down to business. This is, of course, the first test. We have four days coming up for you and you can watch them all here for at the nine o'clock for the grand reviews. But let's just shake down where we are. We're at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia in Spain. This is part of the Formula One World Championship calendar, of course. But to give our new viewers a chance to understand this circuit, I took out the official Formula One game made by Codemasters and decided to put myself in the World Champions car, Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes W09 from last season. Open up the DRS and start the lap down now towards turn number one. Such a long straight, you can see over 200 miles an hour as you hit the brakes hard. Get a nice entrance. We've become a little bit, disqualified the lap, but this is showing it up towards turn three. Power on. Car just wants to push you out so wide as you approach turn four. Every other brakes down to fourth gear. Lightly press the throttle. Head down towards turn five. Brake hard, turn in. Hug the apex like it's your favourite granny and exit out of turn. Number five up through six. Brake now, turn seven. Get on the power, flat out through eight. Now turn nine, you have to lift slightly. You ready? Lift it slightly, open up the DRS. Down towards turn 10. With a heavy braking spot. Designed back in 2002. Look at the bollard. 11, ride the curb, don't spin. Turn 12, break midway through, get the power on. That's where Barrichello passed both Schumacher brothers in 2000. This bit introduced in 2006, the chicane. Seen many a crash before. I've cut the corner, but that's what it looks like. Out of the last corner then. Fire out to the line. Open up the DRS and across the line. Considering that I haven't played this game in a while, I think that was quite good. Test. Now let's get straight into what happened in the morning review now and trust me a lot happened. <coughs> so the first day of pre-season testing for 2019 it didn't start great for this man Kimi Raikkonen fourth in the morning session overall a 120-160 however five minutes into the day he spun at turn five, he locked the rears and lost it into the gravel trap and these gravel traps are designed for MotoGP so the car just dug in and beached itself, caused the first red flag of the day as well. The second red flag was caused later on in the afternoon by this man, Romain Grosjean, who finished eighth overall, car eight, finishing eighth, I know. Uh, he did a 121.5 in the morning session. Now, he had a troubled day, uh, troubled morning, I should say. He locked his rears at turn number three, quite similar to what he did last year in the... Uh, Spanish Grand Prix and he's, this time he learned didn't keep the foot on the throttle took it off and just let the car gradually come to a halt but uh, brake issue already on the Haas as we've known historically the Haas isn't great for its braking power and of course then a fuel pressure issue put him out for the rest of the session uh, of the morning so Grosjean caused the second red flag uh, in the morning as well uh, we saw a spin for Sebastian Vettel, who went to the session top in the morning, a 118-161. Uh, he lost it coming out of turn 10, 
Bert was able to get it back uh, onto the track and set that fast time. Perez is looking good as well in the racing point in second. Bottas third. He hands the car over to Hamilton in the afternoon, though. But uh, a great first morning, and it certainly grabbed my attention, which testing really does. So day one of pre-season testing and it was Sebastian Vettel who topped the first session on 118.161. Sergio Perez was second on 119.944. Valtteri Bottas third on 121.27. Kimi Raikkonen fourth in the Alfa Romeo despite spinning and causing that red flag early on on 121.60. Max Verstappen fifth on 120.174. Carlos Sainz in sixth on a 124.30. Nico Hülkenberg seventh on 129.80. Roman Grosjean eighth on 121.5. And Danny Kvyat in ninth on a 121.732. All right, so after the lunch break then, let's see what happened in the afternoon session. Four more hours to go ahead. Here's the report. <laughs> We may miss the Williams in the first day of pre-season testing, but we got 11 cars on the board uh, setting times. And it must say, a brilliant time set in the morning by Sebastian Vettel, a 118-161. He was absolutely dominant today. Did 169 laps overall. Absolutely Top notch. Carlos Sainz ended the day in second for McLaren. 119 laps completed for him. That is spectacular. Uh, two red flags in the afternoon, though, for Sainz as well. He stopped at the end of the pit lane, but the car uh, just cut out. The battery wasn't charged properly, so he got out again. So no worries there. And to end the session as well, Kimi Raikkonen stopped in the last minute of the day, meaning that testing actually finished in at Spanish time at... 15, no, 17.59, that's it, it was uh, 15.99 for our time, yeah. So um, it was bad news for Raikkonen, who crashed at the beginning of the day, caused a red flag, crashed and stopped at the end of the day, causing a red flag. So Kimi Raikkonen, disjointed day, but he was fifth in the time she's overall, a 119.462. Hamilton got out on the track for the first time. He uh, locked up down at turn 10. He and Vettel had a slight... Uh, not not coming together, just sort of meeting on the track. Um, Vettel was on his full race run, so Hamilton backed off and let him through. Uh, there was a few other bits of drama. Daniel Ricciardo got out of the track for the first time. There was a few incidents with Hamilton and uh, Danny Kvyat, who was back in the car. But um, all in all, it was an interesting day in terms of times and performance. Everyone is shocked by Vettel. 169 laps. And that time, quicker than the time set in the first test last year. <coughs> so let's look at the times then for the afternoon session and the overall of day one. So no time change at the top of the board. Sebastian Vettel completing 169 laps and leading the afternoon session on a 118-161. Carlos Sainz jumped up to second for McLaren on 118-558. Roman Grosjean on third on 119-159. Max Verstappen was in fourth at 119.426. Kimi Raikkonen in fifth at 119.462. Danny Kvyat in sixth at 119.464. Sergio Perez seventh at 119.944. Valtteri Bottas eighth at 121.27. Lewis Hamilton getting out in the afternoon session, put in ninth time on a 120.135. Followed by Nico Hülkenberg tenth on a 129.80. And Daniel Ricciardo going into 11th place. So Sebastian Vettel topped the timesheets of the first day testing 118.161 faster than the time set on the first test last year. Be it there was snow last year that cancelled out most of the testing, but still, that is an impressive time straight out of the gates for Sebastian Vettel. 118.161. Carlos Sainz, their second, 118.558. Uh, he's in the ball mark in that McLaren. It's going to be a, it's a positive day for Renault as well. They got uh, Hülkenberg 10th and Ricardo 11th overall, so they were the bottom two. But good day for McLaren and good day for the Renault engine to get into second place so close to the Ferrari that ran a total of 169 laps. McLaren today with Sainz run, uh, ran 119. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what we can have with day two when Charles Leclerc takes over in the Ferrari and Lando Norris gets his first bite at that papaya orange McLaren. So then, 
Day two of testing coming your way tomorrow at nine o'clock here. Don't miss it. It's going to be an absolute cracker as well. And from us all here, bye for now. Uh -huh.